TikTok and YouTube arguably reign supreme as the most lucrative platforms for creators to monetize their content. The quiz and trivia niche is very lucrative, like these TikTok videos and these YouTube videos. This quiz TikTok creator is pulling in hundreds of thousands to millions of views, while this YouTube channel, as per Social Blade, is raking in $4,000 a month. Today, I'll guide you through creating viral history quiz videos that can potentially earn you thousands on both YouTube and TikTok. We'll be using ChatGPT, Canva, and CapCut. Let's get started. So, our goal is to craft videos eligible for TikTok's Creator Rewards Program, initially known as Creativity Program Beta, alongside YouTube's Partner Program. Here's an overview of TikTok's requirements for the Creator Rewards Program. Videos have to be longer than one minute with over 1,000 views, 10,000 or more followers, and 100,000 views within the last 30 days. Additionally, creators must be at least 18 years old, personal accounts only. At this time, the program is only available in the US, UK, Brazil, France, Germany, Japan, and Korea. To be eligible for the YouTube Partner Program, you have to have at least 1,000 subscribers with 4,000 watch hours in the past year, or 1,000 subscribers with 10 million shorts views in the past 90 days. Additionally, YouTube offers an expanded partner program, granting content creators access to benefits such as fan funding features. To qualify, creators need 500 subscribers and at least three valid public uploads in the last 90 days, along with either 3,000 valid public watch hours or 3 million valid public shorts views. Now that we've got the monetization requirements down, let's navigate to ChatGPT. Now, I'll paste my prompt, which asks for the creation of 10 multiple-choice general history questions arranged in a tabular format. I'll also ask for the questions in text format as I'll need them for the voiceover. And here's the final table now with additional columns and various adjustments. Now that we have our questions, let's head over to CapCut and create the voiceover for free. CapCut is a flexible video editing software available for both online use and download to your computer. I'll be using the free version on my desktop. Start by creating a project. Navigate to the text tab on the toolbar and select default. The specific style of the text isn't important. We're just using it for the text-to-speech tool. Let's select a few questions from those we generated in ChatGPT. Remembering that CapCut's text-to-speech tool has a limit of 500 characters. Now simply paste it into the text box. CapCut offers a free AI speech generator. Simply navigate to the text-to-speech tab to access it. You have a variety of AI voices to choose from. Some are free while others require a paid subscription. Once you've selected your preferred voice, enable the Update Speech option, then click the Start Reading button. Once the voiceover is generated, it will be added to the timeline. Navigate to the Export option. We only need the audio, so ensure the video option is unchecked and the audio option is selected. Now just repeat this process for the rest of the questions. So I created a new mobile video design in Canva. This is the size required by TikTok and YouTube Shorts. Search for quiz template designs and choose the one that best fits your requirements. Now, I'll customize it to fit my requirements. I'll change the background to something more fun. I'll add an image for now. Any image will suffice as it's just a placeholder. Later on, we'll replace it with one that truly captures the essence of the question. 
Canva offers a fantastic array of images for your projects, but you can also use your own if you prefer. Ensure your text boxes are adequately sized to accommodate the text they'll contain. Otherwise, text wrapping could affect the design. I'll refine the styling of the question a bit more. Then, to ensure adequate spacing, I'll paste the longest question from the table and adjust its styling, if necessary. Now let's add a timer. I'm going to use a progress bar, but you choose whichever one you like. Just navigate to the Videos tab and search for the type of timer you want to use. Choose a timer with a duration no more than double or half the time you want to allocate for answering the question. I'll adjust and position it accordingly. For rounded edges, I'll apply a rounded frame. Frames enable you to crop or shape images and videos. I'll resize it to match the timer's dimensions. I aim to give viewers 5 seconds to answer, but the timer is set for 10 seconds. I'll adjust its speed to fit. With the timer set, let's copy and style one of the answer choices to differentiate it as the correct one. Apply an animation to each element upon entry only. Since I've uploaded the voiceover, I can simply click on it to add it to the timeline. Each voiceover track covers multiple questions, so I'll align it with the corresponding question. Next, I'll extend the clip duration to accommodate the question reading, timer, and animations. Let's fine-tune the timing of each element if needed. Simply right-click on the element and choose Show Timing. You will see the element's timing above the video clip. Just drag one of the ends to shorten it and position it as desired. I'll incorporate sound effects like the ticking of the timer and a bell for when time's up. Canva offers an excellent range of sound effects. Just head to the Audio tab and search for your desired effect. Align and position all audio tracks to synchronize with the video. Once your quiz is styled and functioning as desired, it's time to create a page for each question. We'll utilize the bulk create tool for this available exclusively to pro accounts. If you don't have a pro account, you'll need to input the data manually. To access the Bulk Create tool, navigate to the left sidebar and click on Bulk Create. If it's not visible, you can find it under the App tab. Opt to enter the data manually and ensure the table is cleared if needed. Now, return to ChatGPT. Copy the entire table, including the column headings, and right-click on the column heading and paste. If everything looks correct, click Done. Next, we need to link each placeholder to the appropriate data source. Right-click on the element, select Connect Data, and choose the corresponding data source. Once done, click Continue and then Generate. Canva will produce a new design with the pages filled in with the specified data. I'll review each page to ensure it functions correctly, making any necessary adjustments. I'll also position the correct answers and replace the placeholder image with one that matches the question. Before moving forward, I'll insert transitions between all the pages. I'd like to begin with an introduction before diving into the quiz, so I'll add a page and place it at the start of the timeline. Let's look for an engaging video background. I'll also incorporate a catchy phrase to captivate the audience, styling and positioning it to my liking. Additionally, I'll apply an animation. Let's add a voiceover. I'll return to CapCut to generate it, then upload the finished voiceover to Canva and place it on the timeline. After adjusting the clip length and adding a transition, the page edition shifted the audio track positions. I'll correct this, but let it serve as a reminder. Always add pages and transitions before adjusting audio tracks. You might have noticed the audio tracks didn't transfer during the bulk create. We'll need to duplicate the tracks, ensuring they are positioned to sync with the video and the voiceover is adjusted to the correct question. I believe adding a page to prompt users to subscribe and comment would be beneficial. Placing it before the final question increases the likelihood of viewers seeing it. I'll use the same video from the first clip. Then I'll add a text element. 
duplicating it for each message I want to display. After creating the voiceover in CapCut, I'll integrate it into the timeline, align the video clip with the audio, and insert a transition. We'll also need to readjust the audio track positions. I'll fine-tune the timing of the text elements to synchronize with the audio, adding animations as needed. Finally, I'll layer the elements accordingly. With the quiz complete, it's time to download. The quiz's duration is 1 minute and 41 seconds, fitting for TikTok's Creator Rewards program, but exceeding YouTube Shorts limit. You have a few options. Upload the full video on YouTube, which will display with black bars due to the different aspect ratio, or create a shorts version by selecting specific pages to keep the video under one minute, maintaining the question sequence. If opting for multiple shorts, remember to adjust or remove the question numbers manually. Armed with this knowledge, you can craft viral quizzes for any topic, whether it's math or pop culture. While background music could enhance the experience, I've chosen to omit it for this video. Though designed for TikTok and YouTube, the video can also be shared on Instagram and Facebook. And here's the result. Answer all correctly and join the Genius League, who was the first president of the United States. Which ancient civilization built the Great Pyramids? When did World War II end? Who was the leader of the Soviet Union during the Cuban Missile Crisis? Which European explorer reached the Americas in 1492? What event marked the beginning of the French Revolution? Who was the first female Prime Minister of the United Kingdom? The Renaissance originated in which country? What was the primary religion of the Byzantine Empire? Are you ready for your last question? Subscribe for more quizzes and comment your score. Who was the longest reigning monarch in British history? I hope you found this video useful. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. Thank you for watching.